Johnson makes the tackle that time on number 26, Leroy Bradley. A little stranger for people to be seeing Rice throwing the football as effectively as they have. Yeah, that's what uh, Ken Hatfield does all the time. He tweaks this offense, finds different ways to utilize his personnel. Second and two. Hearn to the 20-yard line. And Kyle Hearn making it happen with his legs as well as his arm. And Rice gets 15 more yards, another first down. And this Louisiana Tech defense is reeling. Olford and Nash make the stop. Well, watch the fake he puts on Michael John Leonard, number 10. He's going to fake and pitch him out, and Leonard continues on. He was right there. He still thinks the back's going to get the ball, but Herm is up underneath, and good job of running the option play. First and 10 from the 19, and Beck, the ball carrier, picks up a couple. Well, the thing you got to like about Herm is he threw the ball so much in high school. You can tell he's got plenty of confidence with it. He was All-Stater, not only in football, but basketball and track as well. This one. Herm is stuffed on the keeper. And now another third and long situation. Now this is ball control offense here. You can't make mistakes in the handoff area, which they almost did there, Bill. Trying to leave it into the fullback on a real long dive and pull it out at the last second. Almost a big turnover here for Rice as they're getting set to score again. Third and seven, the ball in the 17. Hearn steps up the middle in trouble. Found a crease. Close to the first down is knocked down at the 10-yard line. Would appear to be a little short by where the official is standing. Maybe a measurement situation. Well, fourth and short, if you go for it. Now you obviously want to score a touchdown here. You're down two scores, two touchdowns in the ball game at 31-17. Good execution of the quarterback draw. The blocking here, you see Robbie Beck, 41, occupying the linebacker. And Herm, quick, quick feet. We've seen that before. Is I think Rice is going to bring in their personnel to go here for a short yardage situation, Bill. All right, huge play. Rice realizing three would carry the momentum, but they're going to keep going with it and go for it. Lock moving and play clock in three seconds. Timeout. And in all reality, you would think Rice made a mistake there and not coming up with a decision sooner simply because they've used two timeouts already, and you would think that they're going to need those somewhere down the line in this game. But... At this point, they realized that they didn't have any choice when it finally came down to it. Well, they just did. They procrastinated too long, but I think ultimately they're, they're going to decide to go for it. Their defenses came out, and Ken Hatfield's got to realize, hey, our defense has played well. We've had two three down and out series. Hey, if we don't make it here, it's not the end of the world. Our defense can respond again, but we can get the football back. But now he's going to take a calculated risk and go for it on the fourth and one, Bill. All right, let's go down to Kevin Eschenfeld. All right, Bill, Land, thanks a lot. You know, when uh, Rice was down 31-3 to three at halftime, talked to Coach Ken Hatfield, he said, well, we need to win the second half and we all kind of thought that's oh, nice coach speak of course that's what he's going to say but you know these guys are losing listening to him and you see why take a look at the all-time active winning list Joe Paterno wins gets win number 324 today Bobby Bowden on his way to 320 Lou Holtz Jackie Sherrill and then Ken Hatfield in his eighth year here at Rice he's been at Air Force Arkansas and Clemson his 263rd game co to coach on the collegiate level at the head coaching position in his first ever against Louisiana Tech. They're trying to keep it going here in the second half, guys. All right, I'll tell you what. If, if they make this comeback complete today, certainly uh, I'd like to know for Coach Hatfield that <laughs> this uh, is kind of an all-timer out of his 150-plus wins. Now he's one of the most respected coaches across the country. There's no doubt about that. And, and be then, a Gary, they don't get the players set as running onto the field as they were snapping the ball was Gavin Booth. And that is unacceptable. No, I don't know how that happened. Not Booth was sprinting up to the line as the ball was being snapped. Now, whole different deal. He came from the sideline. Maybe he wasn't in the huddle on the sideline. On the offense. I know there's some disappointed the coaches on the sideline right now as he comes off. There is Booth. You saw him come through the corner of your screen there as Beck easily had the first down. And, and really, Booth's action coming in had nothing to do with the play. I mean, the defense didn't react to him at all. Wow. 
So they'll go for the field goal instead with a fourth and six and the ball on the 15 yard line. And that'll make it a 37, 32 yard field goal. Beg your pardon. And it is up and no good. Well, remember that play. 32 yard field goal, no good. With 36 seconds to go in the period. And that is a real momentum stopper for the Rice Owls. The next question is, can La Tech now answer that they've got a little lift here? That is. It's a little lift for the Bulldogs, and they need to do just that. Luke McCown has to bring that offense back on the field, and they've got to start executing. They haven't gotten anything going here in the second half. Two opportunities, three, three uh, play drives, actually three plays and punt. And the Rice defense has played well in the second half, and now the Bulldogs must get something going. First and ten, the ball on the 20-yard line. McCowan comes out firing and completes it to Simon. He breaks one tackle by Thompson and dives forward to the 29. A pickup of nine. It'll be second and one. Thompson made the initial hit and then may have dove back to make the final tackle as well. Well, nothing wrong with going to the guy you want to get the ball to the most in the football game. That's John Simon, number eight. Quick little hit. Put the ball in his hands and let him make a big play. Simon coming in with 40 receptions of the year, only behind Dague on this team. Pittman made the stop finally that time for Rice, and that's the end of the third quarter. It was 31-0 at one point, 31-3 at the half, and now after three, 31 is a big, big play in this football game. La Tech has answered on a couple of those with scores. Let's see if they do this time. A second and one, and a loss on the play. As Joe Bob Thompson makes the tackle. That's a good tackle for loss by Joe Bob coming in there. And we see the, the Rice defense is playing well here, Bill, in the second half. And take a look here. Early losing at heck 31 unanswered points in the first half. And then Rice responds with a field goal. And now two touchdowns in the second quarter in the second half to get back in this football game. And Herm doing much of it on the ground to answer McCowan's throwing from the first half. Third and three from the 27. Fake to Smith. McCown will keep it. Easy first down and then knocked out of bounds. And fans are going to want a flag and they get one. There's a crowd call. White makes that tackle as the penalty will be assessed to him as well. Luke McCown does a nice job of the fake here and then he just cruises into the sidelines. Easily going to make the first down and it looks like he's going to get out of bounds without a without any problem but you're going to see here all the defense is going to go this way but McCown easily comes to the outside he doesn't look like he's running very hard just that's probably a pretty good hit right on the sideline we'll take a look here the defender for Rice that's a legal hit there's yeah. nothing wrong with that that's a bad call you don't know that the back is going to go out of bounds they're going to pick the flag up though they hurt us now fans you aren't seeing the replay and I don't blame you if I'm a law tech fan I'm mad too but that is the correct call. I think the other officials, Gary, got together and, and said the same thing there, that yeah. it was just it was not necessary. Well, he's on the sideline here. You'll see him here. Take a look. He got holding there on the outside nonetheless, but good, good, good contact right here is the sideline. He's not out of bounds. Let's go down to Kevin. Guys, the discussion down here was is that the defender, and I didn't get to see the replay, was pushed into the quarterback. That's why they picked up the, the uh, penalty marker. Yeah, that was John White defending for Rice. First down carry. Pittman makes the tackle on Smith again. Joseph Smith came in with 390 yards rushing. The important thing, of course, was in Tech was they got the first downs. Great call, and McCowan had that easy. Well, for a young sophomore quarterback, I'd want to be protected, you know, get out of bounds as quick as I could and make the first down, but he was just cruising, so it looked like he might have turned it up the field, Bill, like you said. Second and nine, ball on the 38-yard line, fourth quarter underway. McCowan throws this one and completes the dig. Delwyn Dagg tackled by Dendy. Dagg came in here fifth in career receptions with 219 at La Tech. Fourth in career receiving yards, 28-86. And second in career receiving touchdowns with 24. The great Troy Edwards with 50. He's got a way to catch him. Oh, there's guy oh, was something else, wasn't he? Going to be tough to catch that one. The act here that they've had passing the football. 
pretty prolific as a, as a passing team at Louisiana Tech. Yeah, how about that career touchdown this year? Tim Rattay, 115 touchdown passes in his career. First to 10, ball on the 47, and this one complete to Curry across midfield to the 48-yard line. Joe Bob Thompson makes the tackle. Of course, the most famous Louisiana Tech quarterback, Terry Bradshaw, is fourth in career touchdown passes with 39. McCown, he came in with 36. What you got today? A couple? 38? So he is just one away from tying Bradshaw in the fourth place on the career touchdown list. Second and four. Bulldogs got it going again. Their first solid possession in the second half. And fumble. Rice recovers. Oh, my goodness. About the time it looks like the Bulldogs have got it rolling. Nice pass completion, but another turnover. That has been the story of the Rice Owls this season, and it is becoming that in the second half. Brown recovered the fumble. Larry Brown, take another look. Well, when you want to turn a football game around, you got to have contact, put your hand on it. Joe Bob Thompson, number 43, comes in and knocks the ball out. Then the defenders, they see it, they're going to pull it in. That's Brown picking it up, and good job by the Rice Owls of making a play on defense when they have to to turn the thing around. See if Rice can answer now. First and 10 from the 44. Flag is thrown. Just don't tell me it's Booth again. Ball starts on the offense. Five yards remain. First down. Well, and Gary, you made the point earlier, particularly for Rice, they've got to get something positive on first down. They're not like Louisiana Tech where it's second and 13, no big deal. That's right. You know, that offense is not designed to go the, the, the passing routes that they, that they run at Louisiana Tech are different than what they can do with the personnel they have at Rice. And this doesn't fit their offensive scheme, so they have to be positive on first and second down so they come up in third and manage their situation. First and 15. Oh, Bradley picked off the complete instead to Bradley. And Bradley alone goes down the 35 to the 32-yard line of Louisiana Tech before Leonard makes the tackle. And Rice moving it again. 24 yards on the pass play from Herm to Bradley. Quincy Davis is also their covering. Well, Quincy Davis is going to go for the pick here. He's going to come in front, and when he does that, it's going to rob Bradley to get to the outside. When you're a defensive back, when you come up and you try to make a play like that, you've got to do one thing. You've either got to get the ball and make the play, or you've got to make the tackle, and he didn't either. Herm on first and 10 from the 32, going deep in the end zone, and it is incomplete. A battle going on as Davis was covering against Gary. Derek Gary, a, soft, a senior from San Antonio, quite a juggling act. It was a juggling act, Bill, all the way down to the end. Gary's going to run a fly pattern, and Herm just lays it up here. Watch the contact inside. The ball goes up, almost picked off by the defender. Falls on his lap. Can he pull it in? I tell you, just needed one more hand, and he, he might have had a miraculous catch here. He pulls the, the ball down away from the defender. Almost a touchdown for the Owls. And a pass completion to Okoronkwo, and that is close. Yeah, it'll be a first down. Let's see where they're going to mark the football at the 21-yard line, and that'll move the chains again. And Kyle Herm is 8 for 16 for 144 yards now, Gary, and quite a day for this sophomore quarterback known for the running game and the option. Well, when he came into fall camp, he was listed as the number one passing quarterback, and Ken Hafter would rotate his quarterbacks in the past and when they needed to throw the football. He's doing a good job here. Gets one out to Gavin Booth for the touchdown. Unbelievable. The Owls through the air again. A 21-yard TD strike, and Booth says, take that. He was only headed to the end zone the last time he was on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Olford was covering, and Rice makes it 31-23. Well, when something goes away against you as a football player, you need to come back and respond, and Gavin Booth does. He comes on the field, gets the penalty, and negates their opportunity for a score a touchdown, forcing a field goal attempt, but now comes up with a big, big score here in the fourth quarter. And a key point after. Looked like La Tech jumped off, and the kick was good. With it 31-24 if it counts, and... We'll see if Rice is going to, I think it's on.